What's going on guys? Carl here back with another episode and the other day on Instagram I posted a photo that a ton of you were curious about asking about it is that set up down there. I know I shouldn't be tinkering around as I'm moving soon, but I had to do it. Do it! Just do it! It's expensive, it's extreme, it's overkill. It is around $20,000 of space gray tech. I think this might be the first color theme setup on the channel. Some giveaway updates from a previous video. I was giving away the Cove Commuter as the best and only Bluetooth speaker you'll need. Congrats to Captain Curly. And of course, just like almost every episode, I try to hook you guys up. You can win one of the items today. A bit of a disclaimer, it probably won't be the iMac Pro. It's super simple as always, just be sure to sub to the channel. Of course, smash the like button as it helps me out a ton and leave a comment down below which one of these items was your favorite. You can comment and say the iMac is your favorite, but as I said, maybe one day in the future, I can justify giving away a 10 thousand dollar iMac. One day, I promise. Let's get into this space gray setup as a couple of the things are actually new additions to my own upgrade game. Oh, this is heavy. Ugh. So the first piece of tech and obviously the most expensive, a bit of a disclaimer, I actually ended up returning my own iMac Pro. I couldn't justify spending $10,000, I'm actually using one of my friends who is super kind to lend this to me. This one is the mid-range model, so it has 10 cores, 64 gigs of RAM, a one terabyte SSD, and the upgraded graphics card. And I'd love to hear your thoughts if you think the iMac Pro is justified in terms of the price. I know if you're building something similar on the PC end, it isn't too ridiculous considering you get a 5K display, everything is pre-built. Of course, you've got bragging rights of saying you've got an iMac in space gray, but it is expensive, 10 grand. And I know these can go upwards of 15,000. Ah, it's nuts. And maybe the main thing that I love, it is dead silent. Even if I have 30, 50 gigs of dumb footage into Final Cut, right into the timeline, everything is buttery smooth. And a couple extra accessories that I've actually given him that are space gray is this guy from 12 South. It is the high rise, matches the iMac Pro perfectly. And this little dongle that clips right onto the front from SciTechy. Say techie. It's so much easier to access the ports, whether that's an SD card, standard USB, or of course, USB-C. And if we turn this guy around. Another little accessory from 12 South, this is the backpack. And I obviously have my hard drive. I've made it orange. And as I said, I will be very, very sad when I have to give this guy back. Accessories wise for the iMac, he chose to go for all three. If it were up to me to save, I think a hundred bucks, I would just go for the trackpad and the keyboard. I've never been too fond of the Magic Mouse. I think it looks good. And that's maybe about it, to tell you the truth. The one thing on my mind that everyone wants to know, this is considered space gray. I think the backside is closer space gray than the front. Obviously that leads me to the iPhone 10. I've got it in space gray, I'll mention. It kind of completes the ecosystem. The one thing that I love about OS, iOS, Mac in general, everything is seamless. I can answer messages on my iPhone, my iMac onto my MacBook Pro. I can FaceTime with my parents over in Europe. The continuity across the devices, I don't think any other manufacturer can kind of match that. So the next little piece is one of the guys that I've upgraded to recently. I find laptops so much more justifiable for my lifestyle to upgrade to. This is the 2017 MacBook Pro, the fully specced up version. It's the upgrade obviously to my 2016 model, which has been sounding like a jumbo jet lately, especially when I'm editing. This guy is worth the upgrade over last year's model, especially if you need it right now. If you can maybe hold off a couple months, let's see what Apple has to offer for 2018 for their MacBook Pro lineup. 
A lot of the comments also were asking which stands these were. Once again, 12 South is hooking it up. This one is the High Rise Pro. It matches that space gray theme, even though it's not the same space gray as the iPhone. Last but not least, I picked up a 10 inch iPad Pro. I saw over on Twitter, a ton of other techie YouTubers were using these guys. They said they love them. I've never really been on board using iPads. I think I'm way more productive over on say my MacBook Pro. Everything else I can just use my iPhone for, but I do promise to use this guy exclusively, let you guys know what I think. Maybe one of my next trips when I'm heading out for the weekend, I will only bring this thing. But for any of you out there that swear by your iPads, let me know some apps that you guys use or your go-tos. I will try to use the iPad to my best ability and not knock it like I have been for the past couple years, I think. If you tally every single one of these items up, and that's even minus some of the accessories, we are close to pushing $20,000. That is a lot of money sitting on a desk. But yeah, I'm super curious to hear your guys' thoughts. I can probably see the number one comment already. Apple overpriced something along those lines. Try to keep it civil and remember you can win one of the space gray items that I revealed in today's episode. Just be sure to leave a comment and of course sub to the channel. Hit that like button and I know this video was a bit different than the ones that I usually do, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace.